The Sign of the Times, episode 591, from the sun disclosed, long abandoned business. Long ago, people said, we don't want this business anymore. They abandoned it. They boarded up the doors, they put paper in the windows, and they took off like a shot in the dark. But the people that love botany are in for a treat, because look at that, there's trees over there. Beast Barnett can tell us what types of trees those are. He lives for that. He loves botany more than some people love oxygen. Or the people that love the snaps. There's Chicken Bob. Chicken Bob, wondering what those trees are, you'll know soon. Beast Barnett will tell us. JB Moonshine t shirt. You can get that if you see JB Moonshine at a show near you. Maybe it'll be coming to your hometown soon. Pamphlet for the sign of the times. Every show needs a pamphlet. Book I got for QT out of the little free library. Maybe I'll meet up with QT later this week. I don't know. Maybe I'll hand him this and he'll say, oh, okay. Demon and Bunny Coffee. It's a delicious coffee. People should try it. Facebook, Instagram, the YouTube. They may be watching right now. Right about now, they probably are watching on the YouTube. Hopefully they subscribe. Otherwise, something seems going to get the nervous stomach. He's going to walk around pacing and sweating profusely. It'll be terrible. The Twitter where you can follow me, but not literally. Much like the amazing Maria does. Much like WWE official Jason Ayers does. They both do. But not literally. I don't look at this abandoned building and then peek behind the paper at the windows is amazing Maria. But that'd be nice. Here's what it looks like in the law office of Stephen P. Newton. Get even with Stephen, if you will. Picture of old Ken Hamlin throwing a rock through the McDonald's. He might have practiced that so he could throw a rock through a Quiznos. We don't know. Maybe he's got a rock pointed at the Quiznos window right this second. Autograph picture of Seymour Schmuck, proud member of the Gouge roster. Autograph picture of Kevin Solon. Paul Freakshine and his buddy pal John Lennon before they had that huge disagreement. Paul and Wonderful Zach. Paul and the rest of his freak show. Paul and his niece, Casey Carlisle. Pictures like that available at CaseyCarlisle.com. That's CaseyCarlisle.com. Boom for all your gift giving needs. Especially if you have some to get to QT because he loves that color. Those are available. A lot of belts there, a little bit pouty, whole wall of belts. There she is when she went to Title Belt University. Here's right after graduation. There she is with the Valp title. Here she is. A little angry. Other members of Team Badness, not one single solitary goodie in that whole entire bunch, not one. CAC program. CAC's almost here. Most recent CAC program. We're just weeks away from that. And the current book I'm reading, Woodland, the story of the animals and people of Woodland Park Zoo. What a fascinating tale. Apparently, they've had orangutans get out and have a fire hose fight with the zookeepers. That was chronicled in the book. It sure was. There was lots of goings on at the zoo. At one time, the zoo was even free to get into it. Of course, one time it was private property. But you can learn more if you order that book or go to the zoo and buy it. Or get it at the local library. You have choices. So this week, a busy, busy week. We're recording this on Sunday. We've already had Trumbull Turmoil. We had Chief J. Eagle as the guest. Chief J. Eagle, first time in a long time he's been on. One of Stomp and Steve's favorite all-time guests. Coach even asked him what type of coffee he liked. He drinks Mountain Dew more than coffee, apparently. Much like Stomp and Steve, hence that's probably why Stomp and Steve has always enjoyed Chief J. Eagle. Monday. Yeah, pretty much looking free. Tuesday's wide open. Wednesday, yeah, I don't have too much. Thursday, maybe I'll watch some old episodes of Dallas or something like that. What a great show that was with Sue Ellen and JR. 
blue seat, all kinds of happenings on that show. Friday, maybe that's when I'll meet up with QT for breakfast at Debashi's Market or something. I'll give him that book. Then, later that day on the show, we have Brandon Nitro. He's out of South Dakota, hugely entertaining sports entertainer. He'll be with us. You can learn more about Brandon Nitro. But to review, from the Sunday School Abandoned Business near those trees which Beast Barnett will report back on hopefully later this week after he does extensive research and analysis we had Chief J. Eagle on Stomp and Steve was probably cheering and clapping his hands, jumping up and down people below him, tapping broom handles on his ceiling yelling, keep it down down there and Stomp and Steve says, they got Chief J. Eagle on here, and they said, oh okay and then they listened too Monday for you, Tuesday for you, Wednesday I got not too much, Thursday maybe that's when I'll watch all episode to Dallas, Friday, hopefully I'll get down to the Boshi's Market and he'll brew some coffee for QT and myself, maybe he'll even want to help QT read that book, then later in the day, Brandon Nitro will be on the show, so pretty much episode 591.